Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And tonight, we're going to talk about FUD, fear, uncertainty. That's right. You know how they do you. Put out bad information, propaganda, to stop you emotionally. You have that uncertainty. You have fear. You just never know what's going to happen. So we're going to talk about that tonight. Let me know what you think about this. And welcome. Stop struggling now. Gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Welcome back. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt, a.k.a. FUD. We're going to talk about it tonight for a little bit. But first, I got to recognize who's here in the house. First up, Maria G. Welcome to the Monday Night Live stream. And yes, please hit that like button if you're here. All right. Thank you for being here on the live. Tanisha Lyles. Welcome to the live stream on Monday night. Thank you so much for being here. And I want to mention Tanisha Lyles has that nice icon next to her name. That means she's a member of the channel. That also means she gets special messages under the community tab. Whenever I do any type of investing, I let people know. And that includes even selling. But members of the channel know I do not sell often. And no, I'm not selling right now. I don't really care if crypto drops 50%, if the stock market drops 50%. We know what we do here. We buy more. All right, here we go. Let's go, Fred White with the icon next to his name. Glad to see you here on the Monday Night Live. Thank you so much for being here. Wilson Coos in the house. Good evening, Mr. Bird with the icon next to his name. Thank you so much. Tanisha Lyles, glad to be here, family. I'm in the house. That's right. Now let's get to it. That's it. Victor Marrero present in the house. And we have a new member of the channel, Eric Newman. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. I humbly appreciate that. Diesel Mike is in the house. Greetings, Eric, from Nolens, Louisiana, away from home tonight. That's right. Okay. In Nolens, where do we got to go? Blind Pelican for happy hour. That's where we have to go. That's where you got to go, man, in the Garden District. That's right. I get around too, but that's the spot. Okay. Everybody else goes to the Acme house. It's okay. It's all right. But blind Pelican happy hour. That's the spot in the garden district. Take the St. Charles streetcar line. All right. Let's see. George Maples is in the house tonight. Hello. Stop struggling now family. Otherwise known to everybody here as G money. He's in the house. Lawrence Holloway. What's up, Eric? Since he in the house. Right on. Thank you so much for being here on the Monday Night Live. Curtis Davis is in the house, otherwise known as my new nickname for him is Mr. Financial. That's what I call him. Fred White, bro, you already made me a lot of money. Thank you so much, Fred White. I appreciate you saying that because that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. This FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Where was everybody last year when there was FUD, when the stock market dropped 30%, 35%? What were they saying then? They weren't talking about any buying any stocks. They weren't talking about buying any crypto. But we weren't scared. We were talking about it here. Buy it while it was low. And right now when the stocks go down, we don't have to sweat because we bought so low. The stock could drop 50% and we're still good. Feels good. I got to admit. But thank you so much, Fred White. I appreciate that glowing endorsement. I appreciate it, man. Karen W is in the house. Glad to see you here on a Monday Night Live. Let's get to it. And what's up, fam? All right. Campbell RPT with the icon next to his name. He's in the house. Or she, because I don't know which one. But Campbell RPT is in the house. Thank you so much for being here on the Monday night. UAVS is popping. <laughs> That's right. Tap in. I hear you. That's exactly right. Exactly. It was a G money special about six, seven months back when it was only two dollars, a dollar ninety eight. 
And any time you could have bought it, $3, $4, $5, you would have doubled your money right now. But we're holding on to it because we're not going to do the FUD right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So that's everybody in the house right now. And anybody else who's watching this, please smash that like button. And if you like what we're talking about, please subscribe to the channel so you get notifications. Now, regarding this fear, uncertainty, and doubt, we're going to go through it again, ladies and gentlemen. Who does benefit from this type of information? That's what you have to start thinking about. Jamie Dimon, Warren Buffett, ever since 2010, 2011, up until like Jamie Dimon took seven years to talk about crypto as being a viable ob uh, a, a viable asset. Meanwhile, they were, you know, buying it up while they're telling you it's fraud, it's fake, you know, trying to keep the price down. So Warren Buffett up until last year was talking about crypto's no good. And right now, even my man at Microsoft is saying crypto's no good. All I'm trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, all this FUD, if you were to listen to these clowns, yeah, you heard me. These clowns, just because they make a lot of money doesn't mean you are very smart sometimes. Sometimes you rest on your laurels and then you give out FUD. So by telling people not to buy over the last 10 years, people have a thousand times their money. But let's just go in the last two years. You've already a thousand times your money. Two years ago, I just looked it up today because we were talking about cloud token in 2018. And the funny part is I just went back today because I was doing a little research and I noticed September 7th uh, of 2018, Ether was around $180, $190 a share or, or, or a coin. And right now, Ether's at 17, 18, 1900. That's 10 times your money in two years. From 180 to 1700, almost $1,800 right now. I'm sorry. That's a pretty good return, ladies and gentlemen, while they're telling you not to buy it. Bitcoin at the time was only around two, $2,500, three grand. And now Bitcoin's at $50,000. And if you'd have been listening to these guys that's giving FUD for crypto, you would have missed out on all these gains. But lucky for you and members who were here two and a half, three years ago, we didn't miss out on the FUD because that's when I was saying, buy some, stock it up, get yourself a little bit. So we're all ahead, ladies and gentlemen, doing great, not listening to the FUD, the fear, the, uh, the misunderstood, because you have to remember in America, it's all propaganda. They always want to make sure that you feel it's too hard that you're confused, that you have doubts because they don't want you to put your money into some other vehicle that can help you. The people's money, for instance, in this case, all called crypto. They want you to put it in a bank. They want you to give it to a 401k fund. Who do you think controls all of that? They can snatch it away at any time that they want to. But if you have your own crypto and it goes up in value, they can't snatch it away, ladies and gentlemen. So even right now, when these things have went up 10 times, almost 15 times, 20 times their original number just from a year or two ago, they're still giving you some FUD. And just today on CNBC and other channels, they're going, oh, the upcoming Bitcoin crash. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get real. People are finding out dollar bills and fiat currency is not where it's going to be at, especially once you're able to buy things worldwide using crypto, which you can already do in certain instances. So this is why I had to talk about this FUD, because it goes across the board. It's not just for crypto. It's for gold, silver and precious metals as well. The guys have been manipulating that. Go look it up. Go Google Chase manipulating gold, silver, and precious metals. And you know what happened? All they got was a fine. Nobody's going to jail. They're not trying to protect you. But meanwhile, they're trying to hold these prices down so they can buy and store it up. And then once they stop manipulating it, it starts skyrocketing. So the ordinary citizen doesn't get the bulk of that. So these big time one percenters are sitting there going, see, look at us. We're marketing geniuses. 
but it isn't that hard when you have the people's money in your bank and you're using the people's money to buy this stuff. And then they want to give us 0% interest on our money. You guys do understand, right? When you're giving your money to the bank, that they get to leverage that money. That's right. Your money at a bank, they're leveraging it, getting loans, using our money to sit out there and create derivatives and then say they're geniuses as they try to keep the market down. And then they're using our money against us to buy the very thing that we need to buy. What a game. What a racket. And then charges for ATM fees. Come on now. You guys know how this is going. All right. Let's go. Fred White UAVS is at 930. I like it because some of us got in when it was G money special. George Maple gave it to us and it was $1.98, $1.50 at the time, $2. That was like seven months ago, eight months ago. And a lot of us took advantage of that. And then when it went up to $3, we took some more advantage. When it went up to $4, we bought some more because it's a drone company, ladies and gentlemen. Drones are coming. Artificial intelligence is coming. There is AI in drones so they can miss each other. They don't hit wires and trees and things like that. There's chips in these things. So if there's a whole industry, it's coming. All right. Wilson Koo, that's right. Give the man his due. Thank you, AMC. Good news. G Money. G Money. George Maple. You know how we did this, George Maple. We got AMC. You know when it was around three dollars, two dollars. Actually, I think it was two dollars we got in last March because that was another thing. Movie theaters had to shut down. So you know how it was. All the fud in the world. Movie theaters. The the end is near. Movies can't be shown anymore. So b let's get rid of all that stock. Just like Carnival Cruise Lines and Royal Caribbean and all these guys, Dave and Buster's. Oh, my goodness, the sky is falling. But yet, stop struggling now, members. We were buying all of it at a tenth of the price in most cases. So, again, yes, we're doing good with AMC. G Money, I'm glad to hear it. If you got in a little bit late, that's it. That's it, Wilson Koo. Banks are scamming people. That's exactly right. We should ignore those people. I had listened to these. I had listened to those FUDs. Exactly. Most people do, because what do people look up to? He who has the money is who in America people look up to. They say, OK, that's why the FUD works when a person shows up with a nice big house. And then he tells you, I have a course. You buy it thinking he got the house based on what he's telling you that he's doing in the course. When, in fact, the course that you're buying is the reason he has the house and the cars. That's right. FUD. Make you feel like you're missing out on something, which is the FOMO effect. The other side of FUD. So all of this is marketing tactics, ladies and gentlemen, otherwise known as propaganda. And the majority of people, by the time we're five years old, we understand we're going to school. That's right. We know we're going to school and who are we going to listen to? You know, you're taught to learn. Hey, listen to your teacher. They went to school. They're educators. Then after you graduate from high school, then all of a sudden you go to college and now, oh, wait, you got to listen to your professor. They know what they're talking about. They're, how do they know what they're talking about? What is this about? Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Your teacher is teaching you based on a book that you and I can read. And then they're sitting there going, well, they're smarter and they, you should listen to them. Then you have a counselor in both cases who are telling you, hey, go here. You'll get a good job after you go to school and do all this stuff. But you have no guarantee from me in writing that you're going to be able to provide for your family. But we're just going to tell you to go anyhow. Again, fear, FUD, uncertainty because you don't know the end game but that's why the millennials are going to win and that's why you're going to win no more fud whatever the guy with the fancy house and the fancy car has that doesn't mean he's smarter than you so all you have to do is read do your own research and everything is pretty much easy once you figure out what's going on 
and all that America runs on is financial, right? You know that. Now, no more. That's right, Wilson Koo, because Wilson Koo has been in the house. He's even gambling on the over-the-counter markets from what he's been leaving us. And that's right, thanks to this family, the SSN Nation in the house. Thank you so much, Wilson Koo. AFA, Tilray, emerging by AFA, while it's low, Fred White. Thank you so much for mentioning that, and I appreciate it. Members of the channel that have the icon next to their name, two months, three months ago, everybody knows I did a video on marijuana stocks. In fact, it might have been four months ago. Marijuana stocks, and we went over this, and I'll go over it again. We looked at the top 10 at the time. And at that time, I said, how America works. The top 10 are going to merge because just like a winning team, you figure out if if number three and number seven man. Uh oh, looks like I got frozen up in here. All right. So anyhow, what I'm trying to say, sorry about the freeze out, but what I'm trying to say is we did a marijuana video on the top 10 marijuana stocks and you knew there's going to be mergers coming. They're going to have to consolidate. It's a beautiful thing. So, yes. And they both went down. All marijuana stocks have went down, ladies and gentlemen. It's been beautiful. So now's the time to buy or are you going to listen to some more FUD? Time to buy. When stocks go down, crypto goes down a substantial amount. What do you do? You buy. They pretty much went down 20, 30, 40 percent. Time to buy because now they're going to give you more FUD. But we all know that the federal government has been decriminalizing marijuana. So that means there's going to be a few more states that are going to allow it. So it's just a matter of time. So that's why you pick it up now for the long term, ladies and gentlemen. We're not trying to get a thousand percent right now. We'll get our thousand percent in about two to three years. All right. Jerry C's in the house. What's up, Eric? Thank you so much for being here, Jerry C. I appreciate it. Copper index has been going up exactly. Tanisha Lyles is on top of it. She has it exactly right, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, I already have this all queued up, and I love how she's already ahead of the game, not listening to the FUD. Because all of this electric vehicle, artificial intelligence, chips, they need copper. They need silver. They need nickel. Platinum. So what do you think you should be buying, ladies and gentlemen? Copper index. Copper stocks. Silver. Platinum. That's what you should be buying, whether it's physical or whether it is paper. And we're going to get all into it, but I appreciate it because Tanisha Lyles is on top of it. She's not listening to none of this FUD. She knows when there's inflation going on, when they're printing money, what you should be doing. You should be buying gold, silver, precious metals, and now crypto. That's it exactly. All right. Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, down below, in case you're new you can get free $10 from Coinbase. There's a link down below under the video in the description. You can also get your two free shares of stock if you have not yet. One from Robinhood, another one from Webull. The links are down below. And if you want some more free crypto, well, you're going to have to do a little investment because the link for Celsius Network is down below. And if you transfer $200 or more of crypto, over to Celsius Network, you're going to get $30 of Bitcoin added to your account seven to 10 days after you do it. All right. And you earn interest on your money every day over at Celsius, ladies and gentlemen. So while you're hodling, while you're just holding on to it, you earn interest. And it could be substantial because I know I'm earning like 13.9% uh, on my crypto because I have SNX. All right. We'll get into some of that a little bit later. Thanks at Curtis Davis for those gems. Exactly. The banks are leveraging your money nine to one dollar. Exactly. He doesn't say it exactly right. For every dollar, they get the, uh, the Federal Reserve. They have their, uh, their calculations. And he's right. Every dollar, they can loan out 10. That's pretty much it. All right. Hold on now. 
Uh, hope people loaded up on Disney. Delta, save MGM, Cody. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, and members of the channel, you would have already known about loading up on these if you were around eight months ago. Disney, when it went like $80, $75. Delta went down to like 15. In fact, Warren Buffett sold all of it, which is funny. He bought it like 50, sold it like 30. Crazy. SAV, MGM, Cody. Cody, most people went by the wayside. I just looked at it today, four months ago. It's somewhere between four and five months ago. Members under the community tab, I put in there when I bought Cody. At that time, it was $4 and like 30 cents or something. All right. But I didn't go back six months when I said I'm buying more Cody at that time when Cody was only $2. But what you guys don't know is Cody is the number one beauty brands and they give dividends. So when it was down to $3, the dividend was over 10%. So any investment I made last year, I'm earning over 10% on my money. So I just set it and forget it. Because the thing dropped almost down to 10% of its value. So I was like, all right, it's just like LVMH. And you guys might not know what that is, but Louis Vuitton, luxury brands, they just have more than Louis Vuitton, ladies and gentlemen. All right. But yes, all those. Uh, Penn, Sono, AUY, Amex up 2.5%. Exactly. Listening to the FUD. Everybody's like today, oh, the stock market's going down. Oh, my God. Well, you know what? This is what happened, ladies and gentlemen. It always goes down. It doesn't go up forever. But whenever it goes down, they just make sure they pile on the FUD. You know why they pile on the FUD? Because they want the prices to drop even further so they can pick it up at bargain rates. And what you should be doing as well, picking it up at bargain rates. That's what you should be doing. So here we are, up 2.5% because some stocks are still going up. Not all the stocks go down. So you got to keep that in mind. But when they do go down substantially like Pelletier did last week, you should be buying some more PLTR, all right? The banks are leveraging your money nine to one, exactly. Curtis Davis, thanks for those gems, exactly. Mr. Mr. Financial, always giving it, that's right, FUD and misdirection. That's what they do, ladies and gentlemen. Tanisha, no problem. All right, G Money, how's it going? Get XRP and XLM, the future of cryptocurrency. All right, we have a disagreement here, Fred Wright. All right, uh, XRP, they have an SEC investigation, but XRP uh, is nothing. XRP and Ripple are two separate things. So the fact that XR, uh, Ripple has been talking about what they're going to do with banks, XRP is not used in any bank. It's almost like doggy coin. It's a, it's a myth. It's a story. But they don't use it. It's not utility used. XLM, on the other hand, I do like. And in fact, I don't know, members of the channel would know under the community tab when I bought XLM. My recent purchase was in the last 30 to 45 days because I can't remember when I actually bought it. But we bought XLM last year when it was even half of what it is now. So, again, I agree with uh, Lumens. XLM, you got to be on it. SNX, Solo Cuevas. Welcome to the live stream on Monday night with the icon next to his name. Yes, SNX, the synthetics. It was 26. It was 27. And it went down to $20 today. I looked at it, but I didn't buy any more. But tomorrow, I'm buying more SNX because, well, I just got to tell you like it is because over at Celsius Network, I get 13.99% on my money for using SNX, which is a volatile coin right now, losing 20 25% of its value in like a week is not good, but I'm still holding on to it. So we'll see how the ride goes. But again, SNX, I like SNX. I like Maddox too. All right, Eric, the master rock bottom buyer, 2X, 3X. <laughs> hey, man, Curtis Davis, you were right here with me, man. In fact, I believe you're on one of the live streams when we were talking about it last year. So uh, you were right there with us. So uh, 
and you've dropped all the gems to make it happen because I do remember LVGO when it was like 80 bucks and he's telling everybody to get in and then they merge with Teladoc and now they're 260 270 dollars a share five times your money ladies and gentlemen in less than a year maybe even yeah it's five times so we're we're doing good can't can't help it all right let's see what else do we have silky blacks in the house with the icon next to the name thank you so much for being here on monday night but everybody 25 minutes in please smash that like button all right so we're going to talk about a few other things because tanisha lyles hit the he hit the nail on the head. Um, I'm going to go to uh, Precious Metals because this is what happens. In case you guys missed the last video that I put out, nobody's coming to save you. I guess we're going to have to get into this a little bit further tonight because uh, let me see where are we at. I'm going to go here first. I'm going to get into this a little bit more tonight. Nobody's coming to save you. So you're going to have to make sure that you save yourself. All right. So Tanisha Lyles was talking about copper, but I'm going to talk about silver. All right. You guys can see this right here on screen. Let's see. Let me get it for us. Let me see here. OK. At Atmex. All right. You can go here to Atmex to buy. Unfortunately, they add on their extra, you know, their premium. Um, even though it says 2832, it's going to cost you about $32, $33 an ounce to buy. But here's what I want to illustrate. This is one year ago. Remember, and this year is March when uh, everybody was calling the sky is falling. Everything's going crazy. Here it went down to $13, $14. You would have had to pay like an extra uh, one and a half, $2. So you would have had to pay $15, $16 on your money. In one year, ladies and gentlemen, it went from, let's call it $16 on your money to $28. And you're saying, well, why would silver go up? I know some of you were sitting there going, Eric, I don't understand a correlation. Well, the correlation isn't called inflation, ladies and gentlemen. Something they don't teach you in school because they don't want you to know. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Because if they start telling you every time we print money, that gold, silver, and precious metals would go up. That's too easy. They can't let you think it's that easy. So here we are again, ladies and gentlemen, $600 that's been given to the people in the United States. And there's going to be another one, maybe $1,200, maybe $1,000, maybe $1,400. Who knows? They're printing money, ladies and gentlemen. So they're adding to the money supply, which means there's going to be inflation. Gold, silver, precious metals, when inflation goes up, they go up. Jamie Dimon, the, uh, whoever people don't know who Jamie Dimon is, he's the CEO of Chase Bank. Jamie Dimon, like I said, you can Google them and they were doing uh, manipulation of the silver market, the gold market, every market they can do so they can keep the price down while they bought up all the precious metals or a lot of the precious metals, right? And then once they stop manipulating it and let it go, then the price is going to go where it should go, probably 50, 60, 100 dollars an ounce for silver. I did a calculation from 1980 up until 2020 because me and another person were talking about silver because the price isn't what it's supposed to be. Silver should be over a thousand dollars an ounce, ladies and gentlemen, just to give you an idea how much manipulated it has been. So, again, when they print money, you buy gold, silver, and precious metals. And they're going to be printing another couple trillion dollars. All right. So this time next year, you can expect gold, silver, platinum, palladium, copper to go up even more. All right. So what do we do? You can either go to Atmex, where I'm at right now, or JD Bullion, or any other silver coin dealer that you want to go to, or you can do one other thing. You can go buy ETFs. What are ETFs? Well, that's stocks that you can buy at the stock market on Robinhood, on Webull, where you have those free shares of stock down below in the description. So you can see here on the screen, I'm using an example, SVR, but this is in Canadian. So again, you can get like an SVR, 
I'll give you some others because we got to go with some mining stocks too, right? So here you go. We'll go with S uh, VSM. Oops. Let's go with Fortuna Mining. All right. These are stocks, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to show you something. You can see Fortuna Mining. Now, here's the funny part. Because at Atmex, they add their little premium on top. So that $15 or $16 I would have had to pay is just like a tax. Money's being siphoned from me. This is one of my problems I have with physical gold and silver because money's being siphoned from me. But as you can see here, last year, you could have bought at Fort Cena Silver Mines, you could have bought for $3.75 last year. Now, when we talk about in March and all that, it was $2.00. Look where it's at now. Eight dollars, ladies and gentlemen. So if you would have had the stock, you 100 percent on your money or more. If you holding the physical, you only have you don't get to double your money. Well, you, you yeah, if you would have got very at the very bottom at 12, then you would have had to pay 14. But you would have had to pick that day when it was at 12 to buy. But the point I'm trying to make is the stock actually went up 100 percent and I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to order from a coin dealer or go down to a coin dealer or anything like that. All right. So I just want to point that out. And then some of you might be going, hey, Eric, that's that's just one stock. What the heck's going on here? Well, I'm about to show you something else. Let's see if I can. Uh, uh oh, I think we got stuck. Well, we might be stuck, ladies and gentlemen. So hold on a second. Yeah, we got stuck for a second. Here we go. Looks like I lost the screen. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can get it back. I can't get it back right now. I accidentally hit it off. Okay, I'm going to get back. We're going to go to Vail right now. This is Vail stock because some of you might be saying, hey, Eric, that, that's one stock. But how about another one? This is Vail one year ago. And you can see Vail was a year ago $10.56, but then it dropped all the way down to six, seven, eight bucks. So if you'd have bought at the end of March or in March or April, now you see what would have happened. You would have doubled your money. If you didn't and bought it even last year, probably be up, what, uh, 50, 60 percent, something of that nature. Yeah, it's got to be about 70 percent, actually. Yeah, 70 percent is what it is. So the point I'm trying to make, though, is you might not notice this down here at the bottom where it's 3.92 percent. See that they're giving out dividends, ladies and gentlemen. So not only did I get the 70 percent increase or more, I'm also getting a dividend from them. You got to love it. You win both ways. All right. So these are the kind of things that you have to think about. Coinbase IPO in March, but 200. What is your opinion? Uh, no, I'm not messing around with Coinbase like that. I don't I don't like Coinbase. They're take uh, they charge way too much to load money on the platform. Then when I try to send money somewhere, they charge me again. So if I had another option, I would use it. I just tried to sign up with Voyager. But now I have a a uh, wait listed on Voyager wallet. So we'll see what happens. But no, I don't I don't like I don't like uh, I don't like that at all. Quite frankly, it's going to if it's 200, that's just outrageous. But, hey, we're going to get into that right now. Check this out. Um, here's the reason I have a problem with Coinbase. Um, they're like a bank. So when we're we don't hold our keys. So basically, when we put our money up, 
they basically get other people. That's why the stock probably will be 200. It's just like us going down to a bank and putting our money in a bank and a bank makes money off of loaning out our money. Same thing with Coinbase. So that's why Coinbase is going to have a high value. They're just like a bank. It's ridiculous. They're not for the people. Because Coinbase isn't giving us 5, 6, 7, 10, 15 percent on our money. It's ridiculous. All right. So now get when it falls. Exactly. Wilson Koo facts. Charlene's in the house with the icon next to her name. Thank you so much for being here on a Monday night. Growth plus dividend equals return on investment. Exactly. You got to love the ROIs. 4%, 3.93%, for instance, for Vail. And then it goes up 70%. Plus, I'm getting another 3%, almost 4%. But since we bought it at a lower price, a third of the price, we're getting over 10% on our money, ladies and gentlemen, because we didn't buy it $17.53. Got to be, got to love it. Old school brokers, same game, fees enter gate, exiting the gate. Exactly. Siphoning off your money, a wealth tax. Because every time they're able to take off three dollars here, two dollars there, one dollar there, that same amount of money you're not able to earn on. That's it. How can we forget PSEC up three percent? Oh, my God. Hold on. Curtis Davis just mentioned something. We got to I got to show people this. This is incredible. Who knew that PSEC stock? Look at this. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, last year. In March, it was down to like three, four dollars. All right. And because they were giving a dividend, Prospect Capital Corporation, PSEC, they were given a dividend. And even right now at almost eight dollars, it's nine percent. Last year at four dollars, it was around 16 percent on our money, ladies and gentlemen, 16, 17 percent. So needless to say, we could not avoid not buying it, and they give us dividends every month. PSEC, you receive six cents per share every month, like clockwork, compounding interest. Plus, for whatever reason, look at this growth curve. Who knew? I was just good with the 15, 16, 17 percent. I didn't really care if it grew. I was just like, oh, my God, 15, 16 percent on my money. I'll take that for the rest of my life as long as they're giving me dividends because inflation's going to be that much. Think about it. All right. So anyhow, thank you for mentioning that, Curtis Davis. How could I forget? Joshua Felder in the house with the icon next to his name. Same game, different clown face. Exactly, Joshua Felder. That's exactly how it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So anyhow, back to the uh, things at hand, because we're talking about stocks, copper that Tanisha Lyles talked about. And some of you may say, hey, Eric, I don't, I don't really know about some copper game. Well, here goes copper game right here, ladies and gentlemen. FCX. This is a Curtis Davis, Mr. Financial Special. Here's copper. F is in Frank C X, ladies and gentlemen. And you could see what happened a year ago, $10.73. Then it after March, it dropped down to six, seven dollars. But Curtis Davis has been telling this the whole time. Eric, get FCX. Eric, get FCX. Quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't get FCX the whole time. Until like two, three months back maybe four months back, the best case scenario, somewhere in October, November. But look at here, just when you think there's FUD, just when you think there's the fear of missing out, just when you think it's at its all time peak high, which by the way, some people know that I said when the Dow Jones hit its all time high, like a two, three months back, and I said, I'm buying more, people thought I lost my mind. I said, guys, this is still gonna keep going. And here we are now, so when it was around $20 or $19 in November, because that's about when I probably bought in, people thought I was crazy. It was at its yearly high. They were saying, what's this guy smoking? Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? 19 and 19 is 38. We've doubled our money. All right? What can I say? You have to believe. 
You have to understand how the market works. There is no FUD when you know when they're printing more money that precious metals are going to go up. And not only that, cell phones are going to need copper, lithium, platinum, silver, gold. Laptops, the same. Art of autonomous driving components, the same. Artificial intelligence components, the same. They're going to need these ingredients, ladies and gentlemen. So not only should it go up due to inflation, it's also going to go up because you're using it. You need it. And the mining companies like an FCX, their price is going to go up doubly because they're making money on the mining portion as well. See how easy this is? But we're not watching CNBC. We're not actually watching Fox Business News. We're not watching any of that because they're telling us the sky is falling. They're telling us, no, no, don't worry. Just don't think about buying any precious metals. But we know what's going on. You know what's going on. We don't have any fear of missing out. We're in the game. And that's where you should be, ladies and gentlemen, talking about those right there. When she mentioned nickel, that's what I had queued up tonight, the FCX, because you can see where that's going. Just like lithium, lithium companies for the stocks, that is stock market can go down, but you need to be in those sectors. AI, EV, batteries, the suppliers, the gold, the silver, the precious metals, all that is going to be needed. Laser technologies are going to be needed. There's a shortage in chip manufacturing right now. So now chip companies are going to start to be valued higher. NVIDIA is already valued high. And by the way, NVIDIA made some other deals, ladies and gentlemen. So even their high rated price is going to go higher. And now may be a good day to buy. In fact, let's go look because I didn't even think about NVIDIA because they're like number one to me with the chips. Let's go look it up and I'll uh, put it on screen for you. All right, let's go look this up. Here's NVIDIA. Some of you might be going, oh, yeah, I see Tanisha Lyle's got me on the uranium. She's got that right as well. In fact, that's the last frontier where you can get deals. Here we go. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen, $574. Who knew? Who knew last year when it was already $202? Curtis Davis was sitting there telling us, get NVIDIA, get NVIDIA, get NVIDIA. And once again, I didn't get NVIDIA until it was like $400. And who knew that it once it hit 400 around here, who knew that it would also go up to $575, ladies and gentlemen? Who knew? Crazy, right? Well, guess what? This is like the number one company. Graphics chips and we get 0.11 percent even though that's minor but this has room to grow and robin hood and webull there's a difference with robin hood you can buy fractional share so even if you can't buy the full 575 you can buy 20 dollars. you can buy 100 you can buy 300 you can buy a thousand or more whatever your pocketbook can handle you can get in on robin hood because they let you buy fractional shares so these are the kind of things that we have to look at, ladies and gentlemen. There's all kind of opportunity around here. You just have to know where to look. Oh, my goodness. Curtis Davis, George Maple. Yes, they are in perfect buy zone. So we're getting into the stock portion of the night, ladies and gentlemen. No more FUD. But before I get into that, hold on. We got to go one more. One more. Oh, man, I don't. Hold on. I'll, I'll just put it up on the screen. PLG, ladies and gentlemen. PLG. Here we go. It doesn't look like much right now because this is one day. But look at this. About four or five months back, our friend Yankee Stacking came on and he mentioned PLG. Look at this. This is when PLG was like under $2. You had your opportunity. This is November 11th. It's still under $2. November 19th, before Thanksgiving, $2. This is three, four months. This is why we're spoiled, because you're doubling your money within four months. 
That's unheard of, ladies and gentlemen. So you're going to have to learn from this point on to hold on to stocks because they drop down does not mean you're supposed to bail. Just like what happened here. This stock was at four, five seventy three. It went all the way down at the end of January to three eighty eight. We bought more. Then what happens? It goes back up to four seventy seven, which is a dollar. That's almost 20 percent. It's 35% actually, I'm off, 35% increase. So see, there's opportunities to win, even when people are saying the sky is falling, all right? So I just wanted to show you guys this one because now we're gonna get into GNOG, which is an opportunity of a lifetime in my opinion right now. It went all the way from over 20 to under like 16. I don't know what it ended that, oh, it's under, oh, this is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. This is outrageous right here. This is this is uh, this is a gaming stock in reality, even though it's Golden Nugget online. This is 15. This is let me show you guys something. This is what it was just a month ago. Twenty dollars. It's lost. Twenty three percent of its value. And it's a gaming stock. This is definitely in a buy zone. And in fact, again, members who have the eye. I know when I bought GNOG, but now I have to buy more because at $15, this is ridiculously low. Let me give you guys some stocks that go along with this. MGM, for instance. Look at this. Here's MGM. Last year, 29. This year, went up 26%. And again, Curtis Davis all last year was saying, buy MGM, buy MGM, buy MGM. And once again, I didn't buy MGM till somewhere like October, something like that. So I got in in October when it was 20 some dollars, 22, 23, whatever. Here we go. 22, 23. This one I got in. He was already in telling me in July and June, hey, Eric, MGM. I'm like, hey, man, I'm, I'm trying to get fuel cell and blink and beam and all this stuff. Wait, wait, forget about that. <laughs> so anyhow, October. And again, I'm just trying to illustrate something. That's 75 percent increase from October. Never mind. He was dropping gems in April and May and June when it was lower. And people are already doing two times their money. 169 percent on your money or better. And you some people were listening to FUD the whole way. They were thinking, oh, no, it can't get any higher. It was at $10. Now it's at 20 Well, I, I missed out. I shouldn't invest. No, wrong. This is gaming stock as well. MGM. And guess what? They have room to grow, ladies and gentlemen. So again, and they do give a little bit of dividend, but it's minor. But um, again, so we're going to go to IDEX which is a G money special. Yes. On a Friday night live, in case you missed it, G money came in one time. I don't know when it was, but I'll tell you right now. I know when it, I know the price it was, it was like under $2 when he came in and said something and it was well under. So must've been somewhere in June because it was well under, I don't, I don't know. It was like a dot. Yeah. July. So in July, it was $1.26, $1.20, $1.30, then in August, it got even lower. And we've been talking about IDEX ever since. And G Money put us on to this. That's why he has the name G Money right now. It dropped all the way under a dollar. And right now, you would have three times your money, ladies and gentlemen, four times your money. So what he's saying is a good time to buy is because it dropped from $5.29 all the way down to 350 ladies and gentlemen this isn't buying opportunity now you have to understand for some of us our dollar cost average is going to be a little lower because if you bought it a dollar 25 and then you buy some more the difference between a dollar 25 and 353 if you buy the same amount of stock that's a big difference because that is what two dollars almost three dollars so two dollars. Yeah. So basically it's a dollar more. So the dollar cost average could all go up to two, two dollars and 20 cents. But you're still ahead. 
when you do it that way. That's the dollar cost average up and there's dollar cost average down. So if it if the price dropped all the way back down to a dollar, we're buying more. You follow what I'm saying? So anyhow, I agree. It's in the buy price range right as we speak. CCIV, yes, yes, yes. Ronald Anderson's in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, you know we've been talking about CCIV for the last two, three, four. No, nah, it's been about two, three months maximum. Um, and that means after hours has just went crazy. If you didn't get in after hours, I suggest you wake up in the morning and get to Weeble. I do. Weeble opens up at 4 a.m. Eastern time. You can buy stocks pre-market. CCIV will be very hot. Some of the institutional investors bought CCIV at $54, $55. Institutional investors means they spent millions of dollars to buy at 54 by a direct offering from the company to them. Tomorrow will be a buying spree for CCIV because if they officially announce the merger, my God, it's about to blow up. And some of you, even just a month ago, $17, $18. Members of the channel know I was talking about it and saying, hey, guys, get in. I bought. I can't remember what I bought it at. I know it was under $20 at the time because nobody hardly even went, knew about it. So now tomorrow it's going to be very interesting. 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., pre-market. You want to get early. If you can get there when it's, uh, what was it, today after market. It went all the way down to $40, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe that? So if you can get in in the morning, you can probably get it $42, $43. So we're going to find out, but that's what it's going to be. And it's going to be a frenzy. By the time 9.30 or 9 a.m. rolls around from Robin Hood, it's going to be too late. It's already probably going to be above 60 at that point before the market opens at 9 a.m. on Robinhood. So that's another reason. Download Webull right now. And if you haven't, that'll get you some free shares of stock. All right. They are the best card dealers. Just when you catch on, they change cards. <laughs> exactly. That's how they do it. That's how they do the FUD around here. Tanisha Lyles. Oh, yes. How could I forget uranium? She hit it right on the head, the U-R-N-M. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, she is right. It's an ETF. And look what's happened. Let me show you guys something. This is incredible. This is what's happened over the last year with this uranium. Thank you so much, Tanisha Lyles, for mentioning this because this is another one. Um. I can't remember when I what I bought the URNM for, but again, members of the channel and the community tab, they know when I bought it, but I, I have to go and look back, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to do a spreadsheet one of these days so then I can have it easily handy so then I can tell you guys what day I bought it on so then that way I'll have a better idea. But I can't remember what it was, but it was also in the last two to three months. So I don't know if I bought it 40 or 30. I, I can't even guess. I don't remember. But the point I'm trying to make is, once again, you did not miss out on anything because some of you would think, hey, Eric, last year it was 23 and now this in January, it's uh, what, 46. I think I'm too late. Well, you're not too late because uranium is a thing, ladies and gentlemen. So, again, even if you would have done it just a month ago, you would have had an increase of 22 percent on your money. So you'd be ahead. Is what I'm trying to say. So you wouldn't have been too late. You just get in the game. All right. And you're getting in the game on some stocks that are going to go up due to utilization of them. So uranium is going to happen. And I want to thank somebody here. All business, nothing personal. The twenty dollar donation. Thank you so much for the donation. All business, nothing personal. I really appreciate it. I humbly appreciate the donation. Thank you so much. Right on. Nice to see you here on the Monday Night Live. Wilson Koo, Kitco is talking about silver shortage and rising prices. Exactly, Wilson Koo. That's exactly what's going to happen. Just the same thing that's happening with the chips is what's happening with silver, and they can't mine it fast enough. And now what's going to end up happening, a chip shortage 
it's a perfect storm because once the chip shortage is solved, now they're going to be held up because there's going to be silver shortage. So it's going to be the beautiful thing. Now on the open market, meaning the physical silver, people are going to be scrounging around trying to gather it up like they are right now. And the premiums are going to go up. So even though I can buy it, you can see on Atmex is $28 and roughly 60 cents. But they're going to add their three, four, five dollars. The dealers are because they're going to increase that. So you're going to have to end up buying thirty three, thirty four, thirty five dollars. But when you use stocks, we don't have to play that game. All right. But he's right. And what do we know? Supply and demand. If there's limited supply, that means prices rise. All right. So that's right. They got it exactly right. Ronald Anderson just became a member of the YouTube channel. He's got the icon next to his name. Thank you so much, Ronald Anderson, for being a supporter of the channel financially as well. I really appreciate that. And because it's almost an hour, please smash that like button if you like what we're talking about. And if you want to become a member of the channel, hit the subscribe button. All right. Thank you so much. Once again, Ronald Anderson, we hear you. Hey, good. I'm glad to hear that. GNOG, free money at $15, $5 profit. I agree. I agree. This is undervalued. So GNOG tomorrow and what else? CCIV at 4 a.m. on Webull. Sometimes you got to get up if you want to make the big money. RWLK, it's robotics and health. Exactly. Diesel Mike, I like that one. I foresee an increase in the coming years. Aging baby boomer. Exactly. That's a... Yes. Anything that has to do with robotics, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. Um, RWLK, I believe that is. Yep. And it's at a right and it's at the right price at the right price. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go look it up. Here we go. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. One year. Uh, hold on. That's not the right one. Let me go get it. Um, R. Okay, I think it is. Let's see. There we go. All right. One year. Here we go. It was only 77 cents a year ago, ladies and gentlemen. Robotics is a thing. It's happening. It's going down. And even though it went all the way up to $4.70, dropped down to $3.39, I'm not scared. I'm going to be buying some more tomorrow. So... Let me write this down. I got to get my list together for tomorrow morning. CCIV, RWLK, and what am I missing? I'm missing something. Okay, I'll, I'll have to look at the video again. But there's also ACIC, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, let me, let's go look at this right now. ACIC. Okay, drones. SPAC merger, another opportunity here, ladies and gentlemen. Archer, and in fact, somebody else mentioned this last week. I don't know if it was last week or two weeks ago, but here you go. They all start out at $10, the SPACs, generally, and it's already risen to 14 and it had a drop today. Dropped almost 10% today. After hours. It kept that 10% drop going. So here's another merger that's happening. ACIC with Archer. Archer has helicopters. They're trying to do uh, electric helicopters. That's for personal use. Changing the way people can get around. It's happening, ladies and gentlemen, right before your eyes. The future. It's happening. And it goes along with RWLK. And he's exactly right. Aging baby boomers, which is a quarter of the population, roughly. It's under a quarter, but just for all intents and purposes, about a quarter. And somebody's got to take care of them. And there's a new company that came out that can use your brain to move your uh, move the uh, robotic limbs. And I can't remember the name of that company, but it's pretty major. Um, and I'll have to look that up because on Wednesday night, live when we do members only chat i want to have that one handy because that's going to be a big time company in my opinion along with this rwlk and anything robotics that has to do with that all right thank you so much diesel mike 
Appreciate it. Eric, how are you doing? It's ready to take off. SLV, Golden. Yes, it is. I agree. I agree 100%. SLV. Exactly. All systems are go, ladies and gentlemen. I totally agree with this. Here goes another one, ladies and gentlemen, with the silver. This is I trust. So here we go. I'll put it on the screen for you so you can see. Here we go. This is the chart from one year. So last year it matches almost. So there it is, 17, and now it's 26. 50% on your money increase by sitting. You're not going to sell silver. You're not going to sell that. Whether you have it physically, if you can get your hands on some physically, I would recommend that. If you can't, then I recommend you got to go paper. All right. Either way, you got to get your hands on gold, silver, co copper, platinum, uranium. And look who we have in the house, ladies and gentlemen. The man himself is in the house. Here we go. Yankee stacking in the house. The man that talks about silver and gold and gives an education on why you should have gold and silver on his channel. That's right. A special guest we once had on our channel. Yankee stacking's in the house. Thank you so much for that donation, Yankee. I appreciate it. He says, who's talking FUD? That's right, Yankee. That's, that, it's not us. We don't talk about FUD, but we know about the manipulation. Robotics is a huge play. Exactly. I'm glad to see you're on board with the robotics as well. It's going down, ladies and gentlemen. Yankee stacking in the house. And again, if you want to get in more into gold, silver, and precious metals and education on that and where to buy it and his giveaways, then Yankee stacking channel is for you. I love what he does, and I appreciate him being here, and I'm proud to say he's a friend. And anything to support him, I'm all for. All right, Curtis Davis. There's tax credit for automation equipment for business related. Exactly. Exactly. That's what's going down. This is how we make additional money, ladies and gentlemen. How do you feel about Apex? Credo Mike is in the house. You mean, uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, if you're talking about Apex global brands, I don't think nothing about it, but, you know, if you're talking about Atmex, Atmex charges too much money on premiums when you're buying silver. But uh, no, I'm not into the Apex global brands at all, quite frankly. So let me know if that's the one you're talking about. All right. Gino Shimiente, check PSLV safer. Uh-oh, Yankee stacking. I told you guys before. When he came in one time, he mentioned uh, PLG. Now he's saying Sprott Physicals. Oh, I like this. I like this better. It's a silver trust. Oh, my goodness. Could they be matching? I like it. I like it. Year over year, 56%. I like it. Let's see. All right. If it's a silver trust and they're actually playing on and actually uh, physical. Oh, this says they're physical silver trust. Oh, yeah, I like that much better. That means they're holding sil uh, uh, physical silver in their trust. Uh, unlike, this is the difference between something like the Sprott Physical Silver Trust and Coinbase. Coinbase, when we deposit money at Coinbase, they don't hold, the, okay, they, they could be holding crypto, all right? But the problem is we don't own it. That's the problem. Now, the trust is almost the same way, but at least they have the physical silver. Coinbase does not have physical coins. All right. Just keep that in mind. They're like a bank. They get to try to borrow against and use it 10 to 1 or whatever. Who knows what the ratio is? But anyhow, there's a gym right there, ladies and gentlemen. And apparently I missed the uh, missed this chart. But here it is, PLSV, ladies and gentlemen. P is in Paul, S is in Sam, LV, a Yankee stacking special, year over year, 50% on your money. I like it. Um, again, PLG when he dropped in a few months back, PSLV. So once again, I like what he's saying there. 
PSLV. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, Tanisha Lyles, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your donation. And you're already a member of the channel as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate Monday nights, Eric. Thanks, family, for all your input. Thank you so much for your input because it helps everybody, just like your uranium and copper speak tonight because I didn't have those on my list other than the FCX stock. So that's awesome. They've been consolidating for a while. How do you feel about this SPAC? Um, Credo Mike or Credo Mac, let me know what SPAC you're talking about. Are you talking about APXT? Maybe that's what he means. Because I, I don't know about the, the food. Let me see if that's what he's talking about. Okay. Yeah. You must be talking about Apex. Yeah. Um, I have no problem with Apex. Again, they dropped as well. Look at this after hours. They went down to 1343. Now they're at 1365. Yeah, so they're they're a specialty play as well. I have no problem with uh, these guys at all. Again, we're investing in the future. Over the last six months, $10 like normal. So they're only like $3 above what it should be. So it's worth the game, worth getting in the game at that. So, yeah, you're talking about Apex Technology Acquisition Corp. So, yeah, I, it kind of, I was, I'm pretty sure you weren't talking about the other one, APEX, as a stock symbol. So, uh, right on, man. I agree. That's a good one right there. Right on. And by the way, uh, you're welcome, Tanisha Lyles, for that uh, uh, Monday night. Yeah, I like what I actually like doing the lives because I get to get feedback. Uh, every and other people are dropping gems like Yankee just came in and dropped some gems. Curtis Davis, Gino Shimiente, G Money, Tanisha, uh, everybody's dropping gems that helps the community as a whole. We don't have to invest in all of them, ladies and gentlemen. But as long as you know the reasons why you may invest in some of these, that helps out. You're just not blindly just throwing your money at a dart going, okay, I, I think I'll just listen to what they're saying. I'm giving you reasons why we believe the price will increase. All right. So that's the difference. All right. So again, thank you so much for that donation and your input tonight, helping out a bunch of people. All right. Here's one. XLF is going higher. BAC, WFC. Yeah. Um, WFC, everybody knows. I told you, uh, everybody knows I invested in WFC when it was around $23. Uh, then it, and that was last year. Then it dropped to 23, like two in the last two, three months. And then bank of, uh, bank of America, they're all good. Let's go look at XLF because Gino Shimiente, the master of, I don't, I don't know what XLF is. Let's see. Let's go look. I'm not invested in XLF. Let's see. Financial select sector ah huh, i don't i don't know what this is let's go look year over year almost the same but when it dropped down in march we're talking about 30 60 percent on the money on the increase since march 1.72 percent dividend all right um spdr fund xlf utilities let's see i don't know what this is what stocks make up excess Berkshire, oh, they got the big boys. Bank of America, Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan. Oh, Berkshire Hathaway. So they stay on the banks. Okay. I like that because that's what's going down right now in the next year. Their stock prices are all going up. It's out of control. Airbnb under 200. Exactly, ladies and gentlemen, another buying opportunity. It's around 160 now, 170. Let's go look. Let's go check this out. Airbnb. See what's happening over here. A, B, and B. Stop. Pretty sure that's it. Yeah, 163. Wow. Look at this. What a fall from grace. Let's see. We're what it was around 202. This is interesting. All right. Well. Opportunity knocks 163. 
All right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this went all the way down to $124. Um, according to this, it even went down further, 115 Wow. So some people, oh, that's euro. Why is it on euros? That's weird. But anyhow, uh, that makes sense. Okay. It went down to 124 as I recall, 128 something like that. And it's been up. Yeah, this is in euros. So you got to add almost like a like what 10 15 percent on top but anyhow i don't know why this is in euros but 163 bargain in my opinion i just don't know what that is in dollars so we'll have to figure something out here why i'm in euros all right but yes um it depends on what that price is if it's just a little under 200 then i'm not going to be buying anymore but if it's like if it dropped to 160 then i'd be buying more all right, here's Yankee. Eric, PSOV is not technically an ETF and it's backs its shares with physical. Yes, Yankee, thank you so much. I noticed that. That's when I saw over there their physical silver. That's what I like. They're not like, an, uh, like a Coinbase. They actually have for everything you're buying, that's what they're holding in physical. And I like that. That's the safest one, like you said. That's the safest one. I'd rather have that than any other ETF, quite frankly. I'm sorry, typo. I meant APS. Yes, I figured it was when you said SPAC. So I knew it was APXT, Credo Mike. Thank you for clarifying that. That's the one. I sold half my position of AG at its previous high. Now AG is still flying. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right, Yankee. That's how we do it, man. First Majestic. They're going to keep going. You know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen after last March and April, five, six, seven dollars three times our money and now we had a little spike but it, it's all it, all systems go ladies and gentlemen first majestic silver mining company all systems go on silver gold precious metals right now it's been manipulated so bad over the last 20 years it's ridiculous so i agree and the clean energy play cline man people are dropping so many gems tonight i can't even keep up i like it CLNE, clean energy. Exactly. I'm down with this. Look what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Three, four dollars. If you would get in and it's still not too late. That's the beauty of it. CLNE. Great one, Credo Mike. And even after tonight, it's down to 1460 after hours. But nonetheless, it was at high today. It was up to 1560. So it dropped a dollar. And again, if you guys are thinking about the future, renewable energy sources, that's what's going to happen over the next four years. We have a president that's, you know, wants to do renewables. I can't blame him. That'll help you get a higher paying jobs. That'll help you get some other industries going. So it all goes hand in hand. Thank you so much for that. Credo Mac, buy more on dip. G-A-N-T-M-E. I, I, uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. G-A-N, T-M-E, Curtis Davis. All right. GAN Limited. Twenty. Oh, I'm back to USD finally. All right. Uh, again, they went down today. Also, everybody, this is the time, six months, a year. Last year, year over year, they're doing almost, that's what, 80% or so. Let's see, 63% gain, uh, IIPR. Curtis Davis has been telling me to get this forever. Um, and I finally got IIPR like two months ago, three months ago. But once again, look at this chart, ladies and gentlemen. It's doubled since last year. Some people would have said three, four months back, look, all-time highs, what are you doing? Well, I got in at the all-time high, and fortunately, it's still rising. So here's a perfect example, another company, but it's a real estate investment trust, and we get 2.34% on our money. Who would think that they would go up this high? But they're in the PPP program. They're in the, uh, in the uh, stimulus money program. They're going to get some money because the government is not going to let these huge corporations fail from their commercial property holdings. We know how this works, right? TME. T 
10 cent um, undervalued. They started at 12 last year and they've doubled. Yes, 10 cent, ladies and gentlemen, even though they're Chinese company, they're big time Chinese company. So another gym dropped by Curtis Davis and it's still not too late because streaming services, that is a thing. And to think about streaming services in China that potentially has, well, they do have a billion citizens, but not all billion can participate. But just think about even just a hundred million to 200 million people that can afford to do streaming services. That's going to be a huge market that's still developing. So again, $24.87 for this stock is, it's underrated. Well underrated. So another one, um, TME, I think I'm gonna have to add tomorrow. All right, so another one, let's see. Bought in on two inflation savvy stocks a while ago, boring, but I like real assets that are undervalued, Wood and Cressy. Cressy, all right, let's go look. Let's go look at it. But that's not, I don't think Cressy, oh, oh yeah, Argentina, okay. All right, that's going to go a little sideways. But it's okay, Argentina is up and coming. I don't know about wood. I don't even know what wood is. Let's see if that's even a stock. Let me know. No, not a stock. You'll have to clarify on the wood. I don't know about wood. Wood and Cressy, real assets, Cressy, boring. Okay, boring is still private, I thought. Let's go look. I think boring is still private. Let me go look it up. Let's see, yeah, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not out yet. Still private. No, you cannot buy stock in boring. No, I didn't think so. Okay, all right. I know you like the real assets, Yankee. You like holding that physical, shiny stuff. And uh, I can't blame you at all. Neo, NNDM. Oh, yes, Neo's a buy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, we, we got to go talk about this. This is like a, a deal of the century happening when I looked at Neo earlier today. Look at this. It's like it was, and after hours, it's down to, it's down to 50. Amazing, amazing. Earlier this month, it was at 62 and somehow this, another buying opportunity, that's all I can say. And like I'll always say, some of us got in when it was two, three, four dollars. So our dollar cost average is different than most. And I didn't sell, I, I'm not selling my Neo by the way, at all. NNDM, again, and the reason why I don't know about these stocks is because uh, I, we got in so cheap that I don't even look at the stocks because I know I'm not selling them because we know this is the future. Here's NNDM. Um, I know my NNDM, I got in when it was, uh, I don't think it was three or four dollars at the time. It was it wasn't like I didn't get in when it was a dollar seventy, unfortunately, but I got in when it so we didn't. You know, pretty good. NNDM 3D printing, ladies and gentlemen, another you might be saying, hey, Eric, it went to its all time high and all that. And then it came back down. But hey, 1245 is a good price for this. And we're going to talk about NNDM as 3M or 3D printing. There's another one. Desktop metals. All right. Here goes another one. Was going along ten, twelve dollars. Here's another three D printer, just a different method, and again, undervalued, in my opinion. The wave of the future. That's what's going to go down. All right, lumber and food, along with energy, are almost no brainers with rising inflation. Thank you, Yankee. Exactly. He's adding in the lumber and food portion. You got to have food. We were in fact, Yankee, I was talking about this on the last video that I did, which was nobody's coming to save you. That video. That video, nobody's coming to save you. That was part of it. Got to have your lumber. Got to have your food. 
got to have your water, got to have some way to power electricity. All that is what you should be accumulating right now, just little by little. Nobody's saying go out here and spend five grand and go get a bunch of stuff right now, but just little by little, because it's going to add up. You're going to need it, ladies and gentlemen. You can see where this is going. If Texas hasn't given you a sign, then I don't know what will. All right. All this propaganda about America having the best of the best and all that, you better hold up and wait a minute, because when you have millions, tens of millions of people without power for days, without water for days, that ought to tell you something right there. You're not the best of the best if that situation is going down. You can understand one day, two days, but you're not understanding people are dying and their power's out three, four, five days. Come on. That's like a third world country, by the way. All right. Come on now. It's sad. Credo Mike. Uh, LOL. Thank you. Yeah. I knew it was APXT, man. As soon as I saw the Apex, I was like, wait, he can't be talking about that. All right. Let's see. Oh, I, I missed something. Let's see here. Hold on. He's giving me something that I, I need to talk about. Also, easier to deal silver in to liquid than gold. Wilson Koo, good point. Tanisha Lyles, lumber is increasing, especially in Canadian market. I added those today. SJ, Stella Jones, SCFP, IFP. Uh oh, Tanisha Lyles coming out. She's been hiding in the background the whole time. All right, let's go see. I don't, I don't know about these, quite frankly. Um, I haven't been on the silver. Let's see, SJ. There's Stella Jones Logging Company. Okay. All right. CFP. CFP. Okay. CF, was it P or B? Thinking about, about college. Integrated forest products. Based in Vancouver. That's CAD. 25 CAD means... What is that? Oh, that's on the Canadian exchange, TSE. Um, that's only like, what, $20 or $19 USD? Nice. Nice. Okay. And let's see. We got one more. IFP. So if anybody's in Canada, they could be taking advantage. Another TSE. 2711 CAD means about $20 USD roughly, right? Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, she just dropped some more gems. This is exactly what uh, Yankee was talking about with Wood. What's up, everybody? Andy Ortiz is in the house with the nice little icon next to his name. I appreciate it. Lumber price increase, not the stock price is increasing, I meant. <laughs> okay, it's all right. It, it's going to happen sooner or later. XLF is an ETF, holds all the financial. I like it, but... What's going to happen when the financial finally goes boom, collapses? It's going to be interesting. Adam Limbs, exactly. Uh, Wilson Koo, uh, I don't, uh, you sent me over something for Adam Limbs, but it went to like a, almost like a wee funder, but you couldn't join if that's the one. I don't know if that's Adam Crypto or Adam for that wee funder, but let me know. Eric Comex. Comex is in trouble, Eric. The fear is that the delivery demand for March futures is going to blow the top off and cause a massive short squeeze on silver. This week is critical. Oh, yes, Yankee. This is what I want to hear. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is valuable information. You don't have to understand what a short squeeze is. Everybody knows by now the GME. Everybody knows by now the GME and GameStop and the AMCs and the Bur uh, Bl BlackBerry Everybody knows what happened with the Wall Street bets by now, I hope. So you understand how shorting works. So we have people where there's going to be a squeeze, meaning there's going to be a high demand for silver. So they don't have it physically. So that means people are going to be able to charge whatever they want, supply and demand. So that's what he's talking about here. There's going to be a short squeeze coming because some people have actually done a short squeeze for silver and gold because they know the market's manipulated. Okay, so with that information, once again, as I was starting out this video, time to get yourself some gold, silver, precious metals. A 
a little bit. Well, in, in Yankees, he'll tell Yankee will say buy a lot, not a lot. Buy about 10 to 15 percent of your portfolio. And then me, I say buy under three to five percent. But either way, we're both saying the same thing. Get yourself some gold, silver, precious metals, mainly silver, by the way. And whether I don't care whether it's stocks, silver or if it's actual physical. But you need to get yourself a little bit of physical. You need to have something in your hand, just a little. And in the Yankees version, 10 to 15 percent. So either way, we got the bases covered. Get in the game and get some physical if you can, because it's going to be a problem. It's already a problem. But wait, if uh, this is it, if this is true, and I know it is because Yankees, the silver smith on this, that means there will be a shortage of gold or a shortage of silver. And that just means the price goes up like it should have been in the first place. All right, Yankee, thank you so much for that. That is the one we were talking about Wednesday. Right, exactly, the DM. All right, remember, we're going to Mars. Space, that's right, we're going to Mars. And in fact, we got to get our SpaceX. That's what we got to get. SPCE, ladies and gentlemen, in case you're not up on this. Virgin Galactic. And they're dropping off some uh, sat uh, satellites as well. Oh, my goodness. This was another day. Look at this. They dropped today. 8%. Man. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a shocker to me. They dropped as well. 8% today. What goes along with space, ladies and gentlemen? Satellites. Got to have satellites. They went up to 16, then dropped to 15, 14 after hours. Oh, under 15 after hours. Jalot Satellite Networks. This goes along with 5G as well, ladies and gentlemen. So again, SPCE, GILT. And what else do we have? Global Star. Another satellite company. GSAT. And now it's under a dollar eighty six. It's at a dollar eighty one after hours at eight PM. All right. So here we go once again. And just to show you guys something here, look at a month or so back when I was telling people about the global star. Look at this. It was only like around a dollar, dollar fifteen, dollar, dollar thirteen. And this is early and we still got over 70 percent on our money. And I still think, gee, either one of these companies, Global Star or Gelat GLT or Global Star GSAT. Again, is this enough stocks for you? I'm hoping so. You need to watch these again because you don't have to pick all of them, but you can figure out what best fits you as an investor. Yes, you've mentioned this before. Let's go look at it. And OCGN. Yes. Another one. Another one. I agree. Um, you can see here once again. Look at this. This is from December 29th. It was two up until January 27th. Almost three to four weeks ago, it was a dollar sixty six and this thing just skyrocketed. But today. It went from ten dollars twenty one. They lost a dollar and then in after hours down to eight. Another dollar lost two dollars in one day, ladies and gentlemen. Subsidiaries biotech. So the code is OCGN. Another buying opportunity in the biotech space, along with, okay, um, about two months ago, maybe, yeah, somewhere around a month, month to two months ago, members on the community tab, I mentioned uh, this stock here. So, yeah, it was like December or something. People were like, what is he buying? <laughs> Um, another one. All right. This company's a pharmaceutical as well. So I'm just giving you guys some options to think about. You can do your own research. But 
Another one by Wilson Koo, Biotech. That works for me. Vaccine about to be reviewed for approval. Okay, OCGN. I like that. They're, they're a good company anyhow. Even if they didn't, I would uh, go long term with them. SQ just got upgraded today. To, oh, my goodness. Square upgrade. The th Woo, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's another Curtis Davis special. I have to go over it again. Last year, it was down here, ladies and gentlemen, 40, 50 bucks. And he was telling us the whole time, get some SQ. And I was like, hey, man, I'm, I'm trying to get me some blink and beam and fuel cell and AMC and GME. He's like, come on, man. So, yeah, once again, I blew it. <laughs> but I can't win them all. So last year, he's telling me the whole time, he told us back in March and April when it was only 50 some dollars. And now look, 300 and some odd percent on our money. And it's not over, ladies and gentlemen. Square does so many financial uh, services that they have money coming in from all over the place. And they're probably going to get into the crypto space as well. At least that keeps being the rumor. So once again, thank you, Gino Shimiente. Wood is a stock. Is it? Uh, didn't come up. Let's go look. Wood uh, as a stock. Can't find. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. Thank you, Yankee. I didn't realize that. No, 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 no. Hold on. I missed it. Where is it? Let's see. It's. Oh, it is. Hold on. I got to get get to this page. Because whenever I Google it, it brings up Woodstock when I put it together. Here we go. Let's see what's been happening. Once again, same curve that March and April. It's doubled since last year, and it's going to keep rising. Global Timber and Forestry ETF. What can I say? Again, inflationary products and 1% dividend. I like it, Yankee. Thank you so much for the clarification because I couldn't pull it up earlier and I never even uh, knew about wood as an ETF. I like it. And once again, there you go. You can add that to the inflationary scales. Not only is it the gold, the silver, the precious metals, the copper, but now you have wood to add to the to the mix. Uranium add to the mix. If you want to stay in that area, wood is the ticker. Thank you so much, Yankee. I appreciate it. Gino, you know Square heating up, but it really was worth 400 last year. They just held it back. Cash App subs. Exactly. Exactly. And oh, by the way, speaking of Cash App, um, do not buy crypto on Cash App, ladies and gentlemen, because somebody's, uh, if they're restricting the withdrawals. So if you would have had Bitcoin on there on Cash App and it just so happened to be like over $5,000, you got a problem because they're only going to let you withdraw like 5000 a week. So if you had $20,000 on there, it's going to take you a month to get your money off. So do not buy crypto on Cash App. And if you did, just don't buy any more on there. And if you have over five grand, then I suggest you get that off and earn some interest at Celsius Network. Get your free $30 worth of Bitcoin. And the link is down below in the description for the Celsius Network. Yep, I agree. So it's still not too late, ladies and gentlemen, for Square. Heard of Luminar? Yes, I have. They do the LiDAR for EV like Apple Car. Exactly. And in fact, uh, we talked about this. Let me see if I can get the, uh, it's LDR, right? I think it, it's not even, yeah, I think it is LDR. So look it up. VLDR, that's what it is, right. Okay, that's the one. Well, there's other ones too, but here we go. They also dropped today. Jeez, 20 down to 18. So they lost $2 on theirs. They lost 14% today. This is incredible. There's another uh, LiDAR company as well, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. But yeah, th that's another good one. That's going to come to light as well. My son, Little Stacks, will probably get a design job, 3D printing. He's an expert at traded. Wow, that is awesome. 3D printing? He's ahead of the curve. Man, that'll be awesome. 
Congratulations to Little Stacks. Wow. That's awesome. Thanks for the update, Wilson Koo. Exactly. George Maple. I got a 98 buy order for APM. <laughs> Gee, money. I still have to laugh at this. I just cannot believe it would go under 100. I can't even believe it would get near 100. But I guess stranger things have happened. But if it does get near 100, you know I'm buying. That's crazy right there. Wow. All right. That's why I prep, Eric. No one's coming to save you. Just ask the Texans. Exactly. I know why you prep. That's exactly right. You're ahead of the curve, Yankee, on this one. Prepper stacker. 100 million lawsuit against power company. Several families lost kids. Yeah, exactly. It, it, that's, that's sad what's happening. That's sad what's happened in, in, in Texas. That's, that is just awesome. G Money, congrats on A, B, and B. Um, he, he's got a buy order at 98, but I don't think it's going to ever get down to 98. He's mentioned that to me before. If you're talking about food, how is BGS for a play? Um, no, we're not talking. Well, we're talking about food. Got to have it. Got to store it up, ladies and gentlemen. BGS. Um, BG, American Holding Company for branded foods. Um, it could be just like any other. It's rising. Food is going up. And in case people haven't went to the grocery store, they're always going to have their profit because they're just going to raise prices. But what I like is the 6.5%. I like the dividend play. 6% dividend with an upside. I like that. And today it went from 31 and then just went down to 30. It went up to 30, almost 32. So there's it's bouncing around. But that 6% on food, I'm down with that. I like that, in fact. Hold on. I didn't. I got to take you off the screen. I didn't show it. But you can see um, it looks like my screen's blocking. Is that what it is? Oh, I had it covered. Okay. 6.15% down there in dividend yield. Dividends and they've been around since 1889. Sellers of pickles, Guggenheimer. Fa Whoa, it's from the Block and Guggenheimer families. Okay, top one percenters families, or shall I say, top point zero one percenter family. Okay, I like it. That could be a gem to me. I like that. I'm a sucker for like six percent or more. And it's a food. All right. Thank you so much for that, Credo Mac. I like that play. Keep an eye on New Core and X stock. Exactly. I like X. And I like New Core. X is steel, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a, right now, it should be down. Let's go look. It should be down. No, it's it's risen. Let's, let's see what's been happening here. Oh, it has been rising. Well, members of the channel know that I purchased X several times over the last year. And so I expect in the last month, it's just almost back where it started. But six months, it was way down here in single digits. So I like it. So when we start building uh, the infrastructure back, we're going to have our steel situation handled. You're going to need that. New core the same way. Can't go wrong with either one. Can't go wrong with either one of these companies, in my opinion. One just costs more than the other. One gives me 2.71% dividend for investing in them. But uh, we know how that is. Yes, BGS. Exactly. I agree. I agree. BGS is also a nice dividend. Exactly, Credo Mac. That's why I like it. Check out Wall Street Silver. It's blowing up. I don't. Okay, I'll try and I don't. I don't know how that. Is that the. Uh, is that like Wall Street Silver? Is that Reddit, I'm assuming. Is that how we do it? Wall Street Silver. Here we go. Well, I, I don't know much about it, but. If you're interested in silver, I guess that's where you can go, ladies and gentlemen, or just go see Yankee Stacking's channel. 
because he talks about all kind of things. I like the one today where he actually went to the silver dealer and gets the perspective of a, of a silver dealer who has a coin shop. Uh, I like that. And he has other guests on too, like uh, the guy from, I think it was South America that he had on. But um, okay, there we go. Tencent, exactly, has the largest ePay platform. Exactly. That's why I like 10 cents. It was only like $10. That's crazy. You got it, Wilson Koo. Again, Eric, they're restricting withdrawal rate on Cash App, aka Square. They don't expect you to 2x or 3x money. Wow. I didn't know it was extended to stocks. That's a problem. I didn't realize it was extended to stocks. That means you should not be buying any stock items or Bitcoin on Cash App. Get your money out and put it where it needs to be at a, at a regular brokerage for stocks and apparently your Bitcoin. You need to withdraw the money and buy Bitcoin somewhere else. Well, if you're in America, you're limited to where you can actually onboard to the crypto space. But get it out of Cash App, clearly. Uh, QM, QuantumScape. Yes, QS, that's a buy. I, I We already know this. We know this. Uh, I think it was QM, though. Nope, it's QS. Yeah, we know the charts. The charts is it's off the charts just in the last three, four months. And it's lithium, lithium batteries, but they also have uh, they also have software. So this company, some people think it's overvalued and some think it's a long term play. Me personally, I'm in the camp of. This is a long term play. For QS, that's the camp I'm in. So if you're going to buy this, it's a long term hold. And I think we're going to be pleasantly surprised. All right. Oh, he has not filled a B and B. <laughs> exactly. He hasn't filled that. That's a ninety eight dollars. He's waiting on. He told me he's expecting it to go all the way down to one hundred, which I, I just don't see how. But we'll find out. We all have our own investment rules. So mind control limbs, exactly. Wilson Koo, is Adam the mind control limbs? I believe it is, right? But they're not uh, They're not actually on, the, on an exchange like the New York Stock Exchange or the Dow or the NASDAQ. And their WeFunder funder I couldn't do. OLN, the party not over. 4Gs, guns, grub, yes, OLN. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, he's got it right. All the prep stuff. There's the stock. This is it. Another one. All the prep stuff. Last six months, three times. That's it. 10 to 30. And it's going to keep going because things are going to get worse this year. And they give us a dividend. I don't have OLN, but I'm adding it to my list in the morning. So see, ladies and gentlemen, just to prove a point, I didn't invest in OLN. So I'm not lucky enough to get in at $10, $20, $25. I'm willing to put my money in here where my mouth is because just what Curtis Davis has on the screen, the four G's guns, grub, gold, ground. That's what they're covering. So I'm like, I want in because if things get worse, that means this should rise. So it's not really a far fetched scenario where it could go up to 50 or 60. I'm happy with that kind type of movement, especially if it's over a, a year or two. I have no problem with that. Lucid Motors, Brooklyn Daddy in the house. Yes, Ronald Anderson told us earlier that uh, CCIV, actually, they announced the merger. And the stock, which is incredible, dropped. So tomorrow morning at 4 a.m., you better get in early using the Webull app. If you want your free shares of uh, stock, please go to Robinhood and Webull. The links are down below in the description. But yes, Lucid Motors, here's CCIV. Once again, unbelievably, it was at $62 this morning. And after hours, it's down to $41, ladies and gentlemen. This is before they talked of the merger. So at 4 a.m., some of us will be awake. And we're going to be trying to get it at around $41, $42, $43, because we know a whole bunch of people are going to be buying CTIV tomorrow. All right. 
So we should be able to get ourselves nice gains tomorrow by itself, never mind about the future. All right. But thank you so much for bringing that back up, Brooklyn Daddy, because it's in effect. That's the one. If you didn't get in already when you should have, when it was 20 something or 17, that's OK. You can get in at 40, hopefully, or, or 43 or 44. Hopefully you'll still be fine. Even if it was 50, you're going to be fine. Just so you know, if you don't already know this, I mentioned it earlier. CCIV did a direct offering of its stocks. They sold to institutional investors for $54, $55. Institutional, I mean like ARC funds, ARC Invest, Kathy Wood style, Vanguard type. I don't know if it's actually them, but what I'm saying is that's that's the type of what, what I mean by institutional investors. They're putting in, you know, 30 million, 50 million, stuff like that. So, and they bought it 54, 55 just earlier this last week. So that just gives you an idea of what's going on. OK, so if you can get CCIV in the morning and if you're lucky enough to get it under 45, you're going to have to be early and it's going to rise quickly. I guarantee it. So get yourself ready if you can wake up, because as an entrepreneur, we like to make money, don't we? Especially when you know you're going to make money. That's even crazier. All right. Or OG, I'm not familiar with. Is that Rogers Corporation? It is. It is. Okay. Curtis Davis coming in with another gym. It's a materials engineer materials company helping out the again. They're going to be in that space that I, I really like when it comes to uh, materials. For, I think we got stuck for a second, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Oh, how can we forget AMT? Forget, okay, applied materials. AMT is another one. And then American Tower. But hold on, hold on. <laughs> American Tower uh, is fine. That's a real estate investment trust. But hold on. Uh, they're giving out 2% interest. But... Uh, this is the one right here, AMD. This is the one all last year. He was like, Eric, Eric, get this. Not just Eric, but everybody on the Friday Night Lives, AMD, AMD. And here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. If we, if you'd have been listening to Curtis Davis, you would have doubled your money damn near again. I mean, the guy gave out like 20 gems last year in March and April. And here it is again. It would have been another uh, 95, almost 100. You doubled your money. Like I say, it's still not too late, by the way. Still not too late. It was at 88 earlier today. And then after hours, it dropped all the way to 85. So it lost, well, five, four or five percent on, on it today. But this is going to keep rising. There's a chip shortage. So, again, um, one of Curtis Davis specials, CCI, um, another opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. It's almost like you got to have a notebook, pen and pencil, handy. Another real estate investment trust, but only giving three percent. Um, hard for me to join that party, but you know, look at this. Look at the charts for five days. Chart for years sideways. So I don't know if he's actually talking about CCI, but 3% dividend, at least because it's a real estate investment trust, they have to give up like 90% of its profit they give back. But um, CCIV is the one we're talking about for tomorrow morning. That's a must. Anyone heard about feds confiscating gold holdings? No. Wilson Koo, let me know if you heard about it. I've never heard about any of that. The only way they're going to be able to confiscate it is they have to know where it is. Right. But that's not a shocker. Um, in case uh, people do not understand the United States and history of gold, they confiscated people's gold in the uh, 1930s. Well, they started out with be patriotic because uh, help out our economy and we'll give you dollars, but we need your gold. Otherwise, they're going to take it. But still, they gave you worthless dollar bills. Crazy. Manipulated the price. And then they uh, stopped you from being able to uh, sell gold. And silver was the same thing a few years later. Blocked. 
Yeah. Whenever the people's money, gold, silver, precious metals, the people's money, crypto, the people's money, the government tries to block. That's all there is to it. But no, I haven't heard about them uh, confiscating any gold in lately. So let me know if that's a thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on the Monday Night Lives, we don't usually go this long, but we did. So we're going to have to end this shortly. So if you have any further questions, we're going to end this in about five minutes. And I want to thank everybody who made the donations tonight. I can't see it up at the top of this, but I'll go down. Thank you, Eric Newman, for becoming a member of the channel. I appreciate it. Let me see. And also all business. Nothing personal. Thank you so much for your $20 donation. I appreciate it. Ronald Anderson for becoming a new member of the channel. Thank you so much. Eric Newman, thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. I really appreciate it. I didn't see that earlier, I don't believe. So that is awesome. So we added some additional members tonight. This is beautiful. Yankee Stacking, thank you so much for the donation. And not only the donation, but the stock tips, the wood, the lumber like Tanisha Lyles, Thank you so much. All right. Appreciate that. And also the donation from Tanisha Lyles as well. Thank you for the donation. I really appreciate it. So I want to thank everybody once again. And please share the videos because you never know who you can help. Everything that you are leaving in the chat that helps other people financially, you never know who can take action. And they might do their own due diligence, do the research, and then find out, hey, wait a minute. I I can invest a few dollars into this. Let's see what happens. Because remember, any investment is a risk. Not everything can win. You just try to make your best judgment by the information that you are receiving. All right. I'm not a financial planner. I'm not a financial advisor. But we do study. Everybody can learn and then make your best educated guess. And it's almost a guess when it's investing because you never win 100%. All right. But it kind of feels good when we know that the government's printing money. And just like everybody said here, guns, the four G's, right? Guns, grub, ground, you know, you know, it's good when they're printing money. We know precious metals go up. It's kind of good that we know that we know electric vehicles, artificial intelligence is coming. So it's good to invest in that. We know chips are short because all those companies Artificial intelligence, satellites, computers, laptops, phones all need chips. So there's a chip shortage. So you should invest, invest in chips. This isn't rocket science, really. So, again, this is why I don't look at charts, because it, I don't need to. When you know what the future holds, it kind of makes it simple to invest. You know there's going to be more financial transactions. You know there's going to be more crypto that's going to happen because it's cheaper to transfer crypto electronically than it is to send money. Like when I try to send overseas to Dominican Republic, it's cost me $40 for a bank wire. Well, with crypto, it's going to be, it'll cost me a lot less. It's not going to cost me $40. So you got to think about what's the future is going to hold here. And if I can borrow against my crypto, which we can do now, I don't even need a credit score anymore. So by the way, let's recap. I keep forgetting. Get your free shares of stock down below with Robin Hood and Webull. They're down below in the description. Also, get your free $10 from Coinbase down below in the description. If you do deal in crypto, please join the Celsius network. Download that. And then you have to upload money like on a Coinbase or a Voyager or whatever wallet you want to upload to then you have to transfer over to celsius network if you deposit two hundred dollars or more using my link down below they'll give you thirty dollars in btc all right but you got to deposit two hundred dollars or more of whatever the token is in order to get your thirty dollars of btc you get ten dollars of free btc if you upload to coinbase once you're on Coinbase, you can get an additional $30. If you learn about other crypto, they give you free money. $3 here, $5 there, $3 here, $2 there. So there's ways that you can actually start investing and receive free stock, free crypto. So again, that's the kind of things that you got to think about and don't think about FUD. 
because tomorrow they will probably be talking about more fear. All right. Tomorrow. Making you doubt any decision that you're thinking about making to invest because they want the prices to drop also so they can pick it up. When you have hundreds of thousands of dollars to invest, you every 50 cents, every 10 cents matters. So they want to be able to pick this up while people are bailing out at cheap prices. And you can see what happened with CCIV today. That's a perfect example. I do not know how it goes from 57 or 58 dollars down to 40. That's incredible. And now you find out they're merging. Incredible. So there you go. All right. So don't get caught up in that. You have to do your own due diligence, invest in what you may like or may know about. And that's the best thing you can do. All right. OK, ladies and gentlemen, let me see what are we going to do. I'm going to end this here, but I'm going to go down the list. Nope, it's not over. Here we go. Red phones in the house. Girly larks in the house. Y'all look out. Nexo liquidated me without notice. Sold all my BTC and ETH. Uh oh, we got to talk about this. I can't leave right now. Nexo liquidated. Um, how would they liquidate? What do you, you're going to have to explain. Um, the only way they could, okay, uh, by rights, the only way they can liquidate should have been because uh, you borrowed against them. And then BTC and ETH went down, but BTC and ETH didn't go down that much. So, and you shouldn't have been able to borrow no more than 50%. So I don't know why they would liquidate you, but please explain why, what, what did they give you as an explanation for liquidating you? That's not a good thing. Girly Lark's in the house. So thank you so much with the icon next to your name, but this is disappointing because they give interest on your money at Nexo. Notebook, pen and pencil, check. Right on, red phone. Glad to see you here on the Monday Night Live. Tanisha Lyles. This was great. Thanks, Eric. Tanisha Laos, thanks to you. It was great. Dropping us some gems. I really appreciate that. All right. Microvision, another one, ladies and gentlemen. That's the sensors as well. That also is underrated. You got to get yourself some MVIS. This is, I already bought MVIS. I know all about that. But um, that's what's missing on a lot of EV. They want to go autonomous. Then they should be using microvision. And I'm pretty sure they're going to make deals on Microvision. They're still cheap right now. In my estimation, they're underrated by 10x, in my opinion. Great gems, Eric. Thank you, Curtis Davis, for dropping the gems. I really appreciate that. You do it every time we do a live. IBIO, plant-based protein medicine. I like that, Wilson Koo. We're not going to get into it tonight, but we'll be back on Wednesday night. Members only chat on Wednesday night. So if you're not a member, you won't be able to chat like you are tonight. So everybody on Wednesday is going to have an icon next to their name that can chat. All right. Oh, let me go back. Adam Limbs is looking for investors in mind. Control Limbs. If he has done trials with them. Uh, Wilson Koo, you got to send me a link to this because when uh, if Adam Limbs, you sent that link to me, I went to go look at it. It said it was closed out for funding. So I don't know where they're looking for funding at. They sent a message, said my LTV was 90%. Then the next message was really at the same time stamp saying sell order. So you did have a loan then. That's the only way they could do that. But what did it mean LTV? Okay, you're 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 gonna but you said BTC and ETH. BTC didn't drop uh 40 or 50 percent. So I don't know how your LTV could get to 90 percent. And um even if you'd have bought ETH at the height. At 1900, it's only down to okay. Let's go look because ETH right now should be night the 1700. Let's go, let's go see what's going on here. Let me go see. This is this is disturbing, quite frankly. If they're doing this because it's not 90%, 90 percent, there's no 90 percent drop, or there wasn't even a 40 percent drop. So I don't know what they're talking about. That's strange. Here, let's go see what's going on here. Okay, here's losers today. Let's go see. I don't Ethereum Classic. Um 
No, nothing dropped more than 17%. And that that's something else. That's not ether. And even then, that wouldn't be a margin call for 90%. That's crazy. Yeah, something doesn't make sense. That doesn't have, that doesn't make sense at all. Here, I'm going to go look at um, let's go look at it a different way. Ethereum. Oh, it's down to 16. Okay, I see what's happening so far. It was 19, so uh, 10%, 20%. It dropped about 20%. But 20% on 50, uh, yeah, there could be. But normally, that's not good. So, Gurley Lark, let me know. Did they, okay, they sent a message, said my LTV was 90. Then the next message was literally at the same time stamp saying sell order. Yeah, because um, ETH dropped 20% and Bitcoin dropped, well, this would have to be if you actually bought at the at 1900 or borrowed at 1900 and borrowed at 55,000. So you would have 20, you would have 30%. That'd be 80%. That's above the, cause they give about a 54%, I believe it was a uh, loan. So that would make you 84. Yeah. That would make you like close to 90. I could see that part, but normally they would have called you. Well, I would hope they would have called and they would have said, Hey, you need to put some more money in your account or wow uh that's different i don't like that sequence ib all ibio is also doing covid19 had no opportunity to top up the account but like you said it never dipped that low yeah yeah it it I know. I, I don't know how it gets to 90% unless they gave you a higher loan to value number than 54. But it would have been around 80, though. That's because it would have went up another 30%. But still, that's kind of weird that they wouldn't have already called you when it dropped to 10% or, or 20% above. I don't like that sequence that you're telling me about, Gurley Lark. That's not good. That's not good. We'll email you screenshots. Yeah, email me at Eric at stopstrugglingnow.com. I don't I don't like hearing that. Karen W, appreciate you. Learned a lot. Thank you so much. I'm happy to hear that. Because with the help of other people, we're all learning more. It is crazy just saying watch them closely. Um, no, that's more than watch them closely. Without giving you phone calls. I know uh the Celsius Network CEO, I've been trying to get him on, but he won't come on to stop struggling now live. But um the uh they have a sequence celsius has a sequence so when you get up to a certain number they actually call you then they send you an email and then they give you time to uh send them money or top your account whatever you need to do this thing about sending you an email talking about your 90 percent and then liquidating i don't like the sound of that at all that's not good at all all right well send me an email on that Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Please smash that like button. I want to thank everybody for your donations. I want to thank you for your gems that you dropped and helping everybody else. This is awesome. And please share the videos. And with all that said, let's see what happened. Nah, they did three messages, all same timestamp saying first notice, second. Jeez, that's not good. That's not good. Recent discussions for those with them in federal institutions. Yeah, that's not good. A fourth message was the sell order. Jeez. So it basically was pointless. They didn't even try to contact you. They were just like, oh, it, it went up from 50 to 80. We're just going to liquidate. That's not good. What's the best place to buy penny stock on the OTC market? Lisa Kada, welcome to the Wednesday, Monday live stream. Um, I don't know. Because quite frankly, I have to use E-Trade and they charge me $4.99 per trade. So I don't know anywhere else. I tried to sign up with First Trade, but they acted funny. So I had to cancel them. But I don't know any other spot to do OTC. Other people said um, TD Ameritrade or Fidelity. But um, I don't know of any place that does it for free. So that's all the best I can do with you for that. 
Thanks, family, for the gems. Wilson Koo. All right, everybody. Well, we got to call it an end to this. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. And you know how we do this. Please share the videos to help other people. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. And that's why we have to stay diligent. Don't let them fudge you out of decisions because you believe that you're going to lose some money. Make your investments when there's blood in the streets. That's the best time to do it. When they're giving you FUD, trying to make you feel like you shouldn't be doing investments, it's actually the other way around. They're giving it to you so they can buy cheap. That's when you should be buying cheap as well. Just remember that. The propaganda machine is at work 24 hours a day. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.